Long before the Loch Ness Monster of Scotland became well known, eyewitnesses claimed that a similar creature roamed the waters of Alabama's Coosa River. The most significant recorded wave of sightings of the Alabama monster took place in the late spring and summer of 1877. The first eyewitness to come forward was Mr. Murrins L. Foster of Etowa County. He saw an object in the Coosa River. At first, he thought it was a person. As he approached sufficiently near to see it distinctly, to his horror it proved to be a living monster or serpent with a head and neck erect extending out of the water some three or four feet. Its head resembled a horse's head, large glaring eyes and a mouth distended showing a tongue of fiery red. The monster or serpent exhibited no signs of fear, but glared directly at him as it passed. And unprepared as he was, he thought discretion the better part of valor and beat a hasty retreat to the opposite bank. Gadsden Times, June 8, 1877. The Muscogee or Creek and Cherokee Indians often told of seeing monstrous serpents and other creatures in the river. The events of 1877 created many new believers in the old stories. The monster was seen Tuesday of last week by a party of raftsmen about two miles above town. It approached the raft and was thrown at with sticks and etc. by persons on the raft, but it didn't seem to care. The men said it had a white belly and large knots on its back. A young man on the raft became so frightened that it became necessary to hold him to keep him aboard. Montgomery Advertiser, June 3, 1877, quoting a report from Gadsden, Alabama. Other sightings took place up and down the river in the summer of 1877. Some eyewitnesses even came forward with stories of similar monsters from as far back as the winter of 1817 and 1818. So many people claim to see it that the Coosa River Monster remains one of Alabama's most intriguing mysteries. Learn about other monsters and mysteries on our channels or at TwoEggTV.com. On the Coosa River in Alabama, I'm Rachel Conrad for Two Egg TV.